Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So I'm working my way through your viewer requested questions and we come to this one which is an interesting one. Quite a few people have asked this. Strato Zombie, could you test whether a DCS jet can shoot itself down by firing an upward burst of cannon rounds at high speed then diving under them? A US Navy fighter did this once. I think, well I think it was actually in F5 or, some, uh, or something someone said. So I've tested this thoroughly in DCS and I can't get it to work. What I tend to find is that after the bullets re assert, reach a certain low velocity they just disappear from the game engine which is good because otherwise we would have bullets traveling around at like 50 knots or 100 knots everywhere and the server would fill up with thousands of bullets and probably crash let me know if you disagree with that but that just doesn't seem possible that's not to say you can't kill yourself with cannon you can um i've done this what you do is you set up a cyclone of 2000 knot wind and you fire into a that not wind basically into that 2000 knot headwind and the bullets the aeroplane is affected by the wind differently than the bullets and so the bullets come out of your gun and then get blown back towards you by the wind when they're still in a high velocity and then they can smash your plane up however even for me that's pretty unrealistic so what we're going to do is just rephrase this question a bit can you shoot yourself down in dcs inverted commas realistically and the answer is with air to ground weapons yes very easily i'm I've done it loads of times. Every time I drop bombs in a CTIP dive, I risk putting a too much forward stick in and bumping to my own fused bombs. I'm sure you've all done it as well. Really easy thing to do. So let's rephrase the question again. Can you shoot yourself down realistically with air-to-air -air weapons? Now it's getting exciting. So cannon, I think we have to debunk that. It just doesn't seem to work. So that leaves Fox 2s and Fox 3s. Fox 1s it's simply not possible with. You would have to somehow highlight yourself with your own radar and it just wouldn't be possible. Fox 3s it's possible because they have their own self guiding radar and they will just track on to whatever they see. And a Fox 2 should be possible as well because, again, their own independent sensor that will just track a heat source, any heat source. So the next is just about the ballistics. We need to somehow get in front of our missile. The only reasonable way I can find of doing that, and so that the missile has plenty of energy, is firing vertically up so that it comes back down and then tracks us and hits us. And although very unlikely, it's technically not unrealistic in any way. I could be chasing a fighter upwards. I could shoot a missile. The missile miss misses. I then go to shoot the bad guy down with a gun. And that missile then drops down five minutes later and seeks me. I've had things not too different to that happen in DCS. So let's go and see if that works. So Fox 2s, Fox 3s, shooting straight up and then coming back down. The key here is not getting a missile that's too powerful. So if I try this with a Phoenix, it's simply so powerful. I've got a video on this. It's so powerful it shoots itself into space and at 300,000 feet it disappears because the game engine in DCS disappears at 300,000 feet and rightly so. So we're going to try with maybe some R-77s, maybe some main 120s, um, and maybe some Sidewinders or something like that. So we're in the cockpit now of our beloved F-16C. We've strapped on six times AIM-120 Bravo AMRAMs and we're going to fire them what we call Mad Dog, so without a lock on a hostile. So that means that they go active as soon as or shortly after they leave the rail and they'll just track anything that they can find in their nose cone area and shoot it down. So we're just going to prove that works. So we're going to unpause there, missile mode, and we're just going to fire them off without any kind of radar lock. And let's see what happens. We have to be careful when doing this because if they pass each other, they will actually blow each other up because they will set their own uh, fuses off. So just something we've got to be aware of. And may or may not be tracking. I don't know. We're just going to have to see. Oh, look, here they come. Here's where we have to be a little bit careful with this test. See, they're starting to blow each other up now because they're getting in their own proximity uh, cones. You see how they're starting to surf at a high angle of attack? That means that they found a target and they're trying to kill it. If they weren't trying to trap that target, they would just point down and go straight down. Um, that was an annoying example because it appears they outrun the target. Let's just try that again, just so there's absolutely no disparity here. I'm going to fire them with a bit more spacing as well, so they don't set their own bloody fuses off. You can already see the tracking look. Kaboomy! Right, so that proves that the Fox 3s work as we thought. Now what we're going to try to do is chucking them up in the air and see if we can get them to shoot us down. So we're going to have to add some deviation in the shot so they don't shoot each other down again. So all rigs will act as a visible kind of centre to where we're doing this test. Go 
bit of deviation I'm putting in there. Hopefully they won't hit each other. Okay. There go our babies. Just follow them up for a bit just to keep on uh, keep on centre. Oh, look at that. 1,000 knots, 50,000 feet. Eight hundred knots, sixty thousand feet. As long as they don't go about thirty, three hundred thousand feet, we should be okay, I think. Freddy's going to start moaning in a minute. Six times, seventy thousand feet, six hundred knots. No sign of any implosions yet. Uh, explosions, I mean. Zero knots. Ha <laughs> ha! Sick. Look at that. Careful not to get too much lateral. Uh, here they go, look, they're going over now, look. So I've got to keep over those uh, objects. And... Ping, cool physics, right? Whee! Down they come. Right, now we've got to hope they don't hit each other on the way down, which is another problem. In fact, they've shot each other down. Only two have survived, unfortunately. The other four have shot themselves down. It's very hard to stop them doing that. I don't know whether, the, I don't think they actually track each other, but what they do is they, by randomly, they may go near near enough to each other and um, and proximity. So that's just how it is. One's deviating to north, one's deviating to south. So if I track the one north, it's still at 80,000 feet, so I've got plenty of time to get around to it. Well, two miles to zero, four, zero. Let's get that done. Burn her on. Any of time still. It's coming right down, straight down, look. So we want to aim to be, well, right below it, ideally. It's gone a little bit too far. Should be well in its cone of influence, look. Uh, it's cone of detection, sorry. Struggling with my words today. So if we pause there, I don't see any reason why that couldn't see me. Um, 0.4 miles, and it's got, what, a 30 degree cone, something like that. There I am right there, look. I imagine that should be able to detect me. And I get the feeling that it won't. Just to make sure, I'm going to head north now to try and meet it. There I am, look. Back loads of energy to chase me. Come on, chase me. Not going to do it. It's just, it never actuated fins. It never tried to lock me. Hmm. That's disappointing. I don't think we're going to get a much better test than that. I was bang right through the middle of where it should have been searching. So it looks like after a while, it'll actually unfuse itself. So that, um, that's a bit frustrating. I guess next we'll try with some Fox 2. Okay, we've got a bunch of uh, Sidewinder mics on this time. Average age missile. Again, the only problem I see is if they defuse themselves after a certain amount of time. Let's go and see. Because they're such small missiles, I don't. I doubt that they will um, set their own proximity fuses off, but we'll have, just have to see. Also, we shouldn't get so much deviation from the oil rigs because they're not going to go as high. Altitude. Altitude. I wonder if they actually seek each other. In theory, they shouldn't have enough energy to catch each other up, but I guess we'll see. We 30,000 feet. Oh, they're finding each other. They're finding each other. Oh, look, they're just chasing each other down, look. <laughs> cool or what? The answer is very cool. Out of energy already. A bit like me. Still going. And come on, top, 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 Oh dear, that was a bit odd, but okay. Right, let's see what survived. Okay, three shot themselves, two shot themselves down, and these are coming right back down, vertically down, right over my beautiful. Oh no, they're not. They're gonna let's have a look. They're gonna deviate. That's so annoying. Right, so it's my job now to hang slightly north of these oil rigs. So 
they're going to come basically plumb down, or they should do if the physics works. So if I just hover basically exactly where I am now, as best I can. I guess I need my afterburner on. No obvious sign of tracking. Oh, they're going weird, look. I wonder if they're seeking each other. Look, that one's going north to chase something. It's definitely not going straight down. It's definitely actuating. Look, it's what's it going for? I think one of these is chasing one of these, which is... Or me. Maybe it's chasing me. I'm banging the zone at the moment. That there looks like it could be chasing me. Look, there's me. So I really want to keep heading north. Uh, again, right on top of me, look. There's not much more I can do to get in the way of it. Get some! Get some! That's absolutely no interest of trying to follow me. Right, so... If missiles go up... Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, now that's a good way I can test if the bullets disappear or not. I can see if they come back down, right? Didn't think about that. Okay, I'll go and check that out in a minute. And splodge. So, debunked, you cannot shoot yourself down with your missiles because the only real way that you're going to do that is by firing up into the air and then back down again. Otherwise, you're never going to run out, outrun a Mac. Uh, for missile and they're after a while they just defuse themselves and their sensors no longer seem to work Now I have had instances like I said where I've actually shot my missile it's bent round to come back to get me It's incredibly difficult to set that up though. You have to fire it at such that a hostile It bends round to follow a hostile and then suddenly that hostile disappears And then suddenly I'm available in its scope of track and to set that up I don't think I can actually set that up and do that so I'm going to pass on that. Just the last thing I want to check then is if the bullets do disappear or not. And what we can do is we can fire straight up and then I'll just set a wide angle camera up on those oil rigs and we'll see if they, oh look, there's the explosion, if those bullets do come down or not. Standby. So we've got to get our gun bore sight there, the cross, as close to 90 as we can for the firing. going to be going up for a while if they exist anymore. Just going to sort myself out. Just going to set a wide angle. In fact, just basically there will do fine. So within a few degrees, that was 90 degrees up. Let's see if we get any splish splash down here. Look. Yeah, something happened. Look, I saw something happen. I don't know if you saw that. A little thing did happen. Hmm. Interesting. Needs more thorough testing. I am going to put traces on and try that again. Gun cross at 90, and get on. Now the traces disappear after a while, obviously visually, but that doesn't mean that... Doesn't mean that the bullets actually disappear. Come on bullets, come on bullets, come on bullets. No, they're not. They do disappear, don't they? This is what I found in my earlier test. It was just my eyes. I was seeing things, I think, before. See, like I said, they seem to reach about... Oh, that's not going to... Bye, cat. I think it's my eyes. Once they kind of reach a, a certain velocity, like I said, because I remember testing this years ago in the A10, uh, they just ping out of existence, and that's good because... It, I thought it just clogged the server up. And You think about a, a minigun or a bunch of miniguns on Huey's firing up. You just crashed the server. So, hmm. Conclude. A little bit disappointing, but it seems that the Fox 3s defuse themselves or are just too powerful and shoot themselves into space. The Fox 2s appear to defuse themselves and stop chasing things. The guns disappear after a certain velocity, unless you've got stupid winds on, which is just a bit stupid, even for me. Yes, you can crash into your own bombs and air to ground, but everyone knows that and it's a bit boring. Rockets might actually work. Rockets might be programmed to, you know, probably will be programmed to go up and turn around. 
and drop down. But even if you do, then the, you know how are you going to hit yourself? It'd be impossible, and again, completely unrealistic. Why would you be firing ro ground to ground rockets up in the air? So I think this is myth busted. I have to say, unless you've got any other ideas, but I just don't think that's possible. Uh, otherwise, hope you enjoyed that. See you later.